Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Manchester here for the Rise Up Press Conference ahead of this Saturday night show. Live on Sky Sports with me. I've got super middleweight prospect Callum Smith, who fights Francois Bastien. Yeah. Pronounce that correctly. Uh, sounds like a Frenchman. Yeah, French. Um, have you seen any footage of him? Bit, only a bit. One fight I've seen on YouTube, and he's not a bad kid, to be fair. Mm. Doing a six rounder, but this is kind of uh, a fight before your main fight against Tobias Webb in uh, Wales. Yeah, fighting Webb four weeks Saturday, which is on paper is a tough fight for me. It's the toughest one to date. He's only lost the one out of I think 15, so you know, that, that's a tough one. But you know, I've got to get back in the ring and get some rounds in, so hopefully I can get some rounds in on Saturday. Was that the idea behind taking this fight? So we'll say quick, you've still got four weeks, just under four weeks. Um, but was it just to get the rounds in? Because you haven't had enough rounds, yeah, have you? Yeah, I mean, I've been out for six months and it wouldn't be ideal going into a fight with Webb, which would be seven months out the ring and going into probably my toughest fight on paper with, after being so inactive. So, you know, I did need a fight before then. And as I say, you know, as much as I enjoy getting early knockouts, then, you know, I wouldn't mind some rounds after they because I do think it'd be more beneficial for the Webb fight. Injury-wise, everything fine with that? Yeah, it's fine. If, you know, if it wasn't, I wouldn't fight. No point rushing it and no risk going back to square one. That's why I pulled out of the Liverpool show. You know, I really did want to fight in Liverpool, but I'm still having little niggles with my hand, so I pulled out. But it's been fine. I've been sparring the last two weeks and you know, throwing heavy punches and you know, I've had no problems, so fingers crossed. Absolutely. Um, just want to ask your opinion on something. Obviously, there's uh, much talk about uh, a potential fight in the future between you and uh, Frank Bullioni. Yeah. Frank Bullioni lost uh, last Saturday night. Uh, did you see his fight with Kamitsky? Yeah, I watched it. I thought it was a tough fight. I thought it was a tough fight before it was made. I yeah. seen it Martin Murray and it was a bit of a risky fight, but obviously I thought he'd come through it. But you know, some sticky patches. I didn't expect him to lose, but it just shows you nothing's taken nothing for granted and nothing's you no know, sure thing. And you now he come and stuff, and you know, he's gonna have to go away and rebuild. But he's only young, so I'm sure he can. It's one of them things, isn't it? If he if he wins, it's a it's a great bit of matchmaking, and as yeah. Eddie as Eddie said and. If you lose, he's been over, you know, overmatched, if you like, yeah. and you can't win either way, so... Yeah, that's obviously that's a promoter's job, that's what they pay for, and I think that shows a good promoter from a bad one, get a fight at the right time, and you know, they obviously thought that was the right fight at the right time for Bullioni, and it turned out it was probably one or two too soon, but as I say, he's only young, so we can go away and regroup, and I'm mm. sure he'll come back a better fighter from him. Definitely, I'm sure Frank will. All right, well, listen, Callum Smith, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Um, look forward to the weigh-in tomorrow. Um, and fight night Saturday, you kick off the show on Sky Sports. 7.30, tune in. At least you're not being, like, red-buttoned. I don't think it is yeah, red. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Is the red button the weekend or not? Oh. I don't know, I have to ask. You don't should know. know this before you interview me. Well, no, my, my, my life doesn't depend on the red button, but I just know that you're kicking off the show because... 7.30. Oh, fast yeah. said it, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for talking to us, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Thank you, mate. See you in a bit.